Well, for the receivers it is. Uh, however, for our return game, it's putting a little bit of pressure on some other players, you know. Because um, all three of those guys were suspended or who won't be playing this game are return specialists, actually. Receivers are all catching the ball well now. Russell Carr's coming back to where he was at the beginning of the, of the preseason camp. Uh, getting a lot of work out of Corey Trisby. That was kind of a little bit unexpected. He was on borderline coming into the fall and has done a great job. And of course, uh, Pierce is in the best shape he's been in and he'll get the start. But JT will play at that position too. I think Chris Adams will probably be the the leading receiver again. Uh, just depends on if we call his number or not. Well, we're really excited about it. Uh, really excited to see how, how our players are going to play the first when the lights go on. Um, it doesn't really matter who we're playing. Uh, I want to I want to evaluate where we are. You know, just how good we are. It's all about us, really. It's just, it's going to be different colored uniform every week, but it's always going to be orange and blue for us. So I'm, I'm in charge of the orange and blue. I don't know what the other guys are going to do. And we don't even know what offense they're going to run, to be honest with you, because they have a good coach uh, on the offensive team. So, But they're talented. They're big. They're good-looking athletes. We've seen tape on them. We just don't, aren't sure where they're going to line up all the time. High expectations. Uh, you know, we... We plan to get off to a good start, and uh, this game is very important f for us and our momentum. I think we have great team chemistry, and uh, uh, I feel real positive about this group of guys. Just fundamentals, us hitting, tackling, blocking, uh, just going out and being fundamentally sound. That's our biggest uh, emphasis this week, not for their plays. You know. Come on out and see some of the best players in America. And uh, I'll try to cheer them up and uh, help help you fans cheer for our minors. It's going to be a great year. Plenty of room on the bandwagon, so jump on right now. I don't know if I've made the adjustments, but I think our team has made the adjustments. The team chemistry is much better. We have outstanding leadership from a group of seniors. So uh, that has been the main difference uh, in, in this team is, is the way that their attitude. You think? I, I think I've always had the same attitude every year, but maybe not. You know, maybe I didn't give them a chance to lead. They're sure leading now. Yeah, I think they did see the pre previous groups. Uh, and I don't know why they waited till now, you know, but uh, I guess they're just sick and tired of, of the season turning out the way it did for the last, you know, they're, they want to go out a winner. They want to go out a champion. They want to go out a bowl game. I feel like we do. Um, it's, you know, it's tough that we did lose him for the first game. And, um, you know, Marlon's actually sitting out the first game also. And, um, you know, it's good. It's a learning experience for us all. We know we can't, you know, mess up and be taken away from the team and be there. And But it gives other guys opportunities to step in and fill those roles. And, um, you know, I really think that, we still have a lot of weapons that we can use at the receiver position. The only thing is Evan was like, he's the type that can play all of our different receiver positions, not just inside or outside. Yeah, very easily. Um, you know, definitely Chris and DK are going to be a vertical threat on the outside, both of them with really good speed. And um, inside, there's a lot of options that we have also. Um, Evan and Marlon, they come back, JT, Pierce, Russ, all those guys. Um, all those guys are going to come in, make an impact in the game and make a lot of catches. It is, um, not only for myself, but for the team. Um, we haven't won our first game, you know, in a few years now, and we want to get, you know, start our season out right, start on the right track. And, um, it's more of offensively our mindset is to play consistent and not, you know, try and outplay ourselves, but just to do the things we need to do to be consistent as an offense. It's going to be really important to us to, you know, start out really strong and um, play with a lot of a lot of passion and enthusiasm in each of those games. And, you know, put ourselves in, a, in the best opportunity to win the game, and you know, if we can make it through the first half of the season with a very, like, with a um, 
with a positive uh, above 500 uh, record, then we should we should look pretty good going at the end of the season. Man, it's about time. I feel like it's about time. We've been waiting all summer, rain, winter, all that, but this moment, so it's finally here. We're going to make a big impact this weekend. Yeah, I mean, we've been together for well, the offense. A lot of guys have been together for four to five years, so I mean, off the field, we always hang out with each other, so we know like each other um, more than we did last year. So, I mean, we have a special chemistry position. We got a simple game plan, so we're just going to run our base plays and see what they give us, and then go off of that and have to adjust to be uh, a key factor to the game. Coming out of halftime, see what they do in the, in the first half, and then going off of that. I think it'd be a good year for me and the offense and the whole team because uh, it's not as difficult a schedule as it was last year, so it's a lot more manageable. So I think we have a better chance of going to a bowl game this year and when it comes to this year.